everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are finishing up our two-in-one action figure reviews on Elite Series 84. But today, we are not only going to be doing that, but also ranking Elite Series 84 from worst to best, in my personal opinion. Before we get into that ranking, though, we do need to take a closer look at Buddeth Murphy and Sheamus. I think we may have the best Sheamus ever on our hands. And this Buddy Murphy, how does it compare to his first figure? Is it better? Is it worse? How's it going to fit into the collection? We're going to find all that out here today, guys. But here's your front viewing window. Pretty vanilla poses for both of these, which really doesn't bother me. I'm not a mock guy. If you're a mock guy, then these are some mock guys. On the side of the packaging, we got Buddy and Sheamus. This kind of low-key, the way I'm seeing them right here, I kind of want them to be a tag team now. And they kind of have matching gear, except this has Disciple on it. I don't know. Giving people, you know, pick-fed scenarios. On the back of the packaging, you got an image of Murphy and Sheamus right there, as well as their bios. If you want to read them, you can pause it now. Rest of the figures in the waves. Rest of them on the side there and that's pretty much all they got going on for the packaging guys so let's rank these guys let's review 84 murphy and sheamus and let's dive right into the review by cracking them out of their pack oh, why did we get a red why did we get a raw tag title you couldn't plug a raw tag title in brad you couldn't give me a raw tag title shaking my head so you're going to try and sit there and tell me that these guys would not be a great tag team, guys. Just look at them in figure form. They just look like they would go together. I think their styles would be great. The hard-hitting style of these guys, the athleticism of these guys. I'm just, the, the, the freaking things in my brain are just going crazy right now. Sheamus and Murphy? Shea Murphy? Murphus? I don't know what the hell their name would be. However, I do know that these figures look pretty damn bomb, and I can't wait to get into them, guys. So what we're going to do is dive into Sheamus' accessories first, then Sheamus, then Buddy Murphy's accessories accessories, then Buddy Murphy, then rank Series 84 from worst to best and get the hell out of here. So let's go ahead and get started. So getting into Sheamus accessories, guys, for his interchangeable hands, he does come with fists out of the packaging, as you guys can see. And I will tell you that they are kind of loosey-goosey. I don't like how they fit. They kind of feel a little bit loose. I don't know if it's just mine. Maybe yours are fine, but you guys can see they wiggle a little bit. So not only does he come with fists, but he also comes with mic-holding hands, which are also excellent. Every figure... Every single figure should come with mic holding hands, fists, and then signature hands, or a couple pairs of signature hands. That's it. That should be just automatic. Next up, we have his t-shirt, which we have seen before. We've seen cloth t-shirts before. It's got his nice little Sheamus logo. It's in black. It's got a nice white logo on it. Looks pretty good. You know, Velcro on the back feels good quality. If you guys want to see what it looks like on the Sheamus, then you can see that right now. And I think it fits the figure perfectly. This is exactly how you want the shirts to fit. You guys know the WWE talent that sleeves fit them nice and tight, and this is pretty damn accurate. Like every WWE talent, their arms always fill out the sleeve, so I think this looks really good on the figure. I don't have any complaints about it. I think it looks absolutely great on the Sheamus figure. And then for his necklace accessory, you guys can see we got a pretty nice sculpt going on, and I really like the paint that they got going. I don't know if it was molded this way or if there's actual paint on here, but the, the sculpt on this necklace is really nice. You guys know you just plop this over the head, and it was a little bit of a tight fit because you guys know the, the tall hair that Sheamus has, but it does go on, and it comes off so you don't have to worry about ripping or anything. Just kind of go slow with it just to be on the safe side. But overall, I really like the necklace. We've seen necklaces before with many figures, and this one's no different. It looks really good. I like the sculpt. I like the color. And that's pretty much what you get with Sheamus, guys. So let's dive into Sheamus himself. All right, guys, so getting into Sheamus himself, guys, starting out at the head sculpt, I'm not going to BS with you. I think this may be our best Sheamus we've ever gotten. I think, you know, it just fits off that pissed off heel Sheamus, that determined Sheamus. This is your perfect head sculpt. I really think this has a lot going on for it. I think they made a basic of this as well, but having the Elite is great. This is almost 30 series ago that we got an Elite Sheamus. The last one was Elite Series 58, and that one was a great figure as well. We're going to do the comparison. I may have even head swapped it, so I apologize for that. But nonetheless, this is a great looking head sculpt. I always love the, the formula they, the formula that they use for Sheamus is perfect. They've never gone wrong with this. The arms are the perfect size. The I think this torso is great. And it's kind of weird. You would think, you know, the way they make McIntyre and the way they make Roman and the way they make all these other guys, you would think that they would make Sheamus too, Jack. But I think they nail it. I think Sheamus is one of the figures that is always perfect and looks just like him. You got his signature trunks right here, which look great. You got the black and silver going on. 
his attires aren't very crazy. He's got black wrist tape or black, you know, gauntlets with his iron crosses on it. Black open knee pads with his logos there. And then he has the signature Seamus boots with his iron crosses on there. Great looking skin tone. Every Seamus figure, I'm pretty sure, maybe besides the first few earlier ones, are on ball joints. This one is no different, so it allows for really good posing around and stuff. Seamus figures are some of the most underrated, man. I, I think that is easy to say, but that's pretty much your elite Seamus, man. Not a lot going on with it, but I am uh, I'm impressed with it. I mean, it's, it's, it's as good as it gets for Seamus. So for your Seamus figure comparisons, guys, here's the new Elite 84 compared to the Elite 58. And I will say maybe the red and black is a little bit better than the black and silver, but this head sculpt's much better. This is actually an older Seamus head sculpt that I put on to the Elite 58 to give us an updated Seamus for the time being as a placeholder for this look of Seamus, which now is updated and even better. So there you go for your Seamus figure comparisons. Now, if you want to see what Seamus looks like up next to some other talent, well then, here's his best buddy, Drew McIntyre from Elite Series 83, and you guys can see the difference in skin tone there. You got a dark skin tone compared to a really, really pale skin tone. And yeah, there you go. Elite 83 versus Elite 84. I think these look good right up next to each other and everything like that, so that works out for me. And then if you want to see him up next to his old bar tag team partner, and you want to put that in your pick fed or something like that, there is a comparison to the Elite 58 fix-up Cesaro that I made forever ago, and these look really good up next to each other too. So there you go. You get the two-for-one football special. So for Buddy Murphy's accessories, guys, you get a rubber t-shirt as well as interchangeable hands and he does come with his best kept secret hands you guys know the I mean they are technically pointing hands but it's for him to put the finger over the lip and tell you to shut the hell up so he does come with two of those out of the packaging he also comes with mic holding hands so you have the taped hand there and then the blank hand right there so that is it for his interchangeable hands and then he comes with the Monday Night Messiah Seth Rollins t-shirt and I'm pretty sure this is supposed to say Monday Night Messiah or Monday Night Raw it's supposed to say something right it's not supposed to be blank. I don't think it's supposed to be blank, but I like the deco going on right there. I will probably never use this. I might stick it on one of my extra Rollins whenever we get an extra Rollins from around this era or something, but you guys know these are really hard to like clasp. Like, I, I don't know. Anybody who's ever owned one of these shirts knows that they're really hard to clasp. They're really hard to stay on the figure, and that's no different with these. It's just not a good technique. I really don't know how you get any better with it. Just give, it, just give us cloth. I mean, that's really all you can do, but I guess they didn't have enough budget in the line to give us a cloth shirt after other two figures came with interchangeable heads and then you got the other cloth accessories and then no raw tag title with this guy so I'm just going to build a bridge, get over it and uh, move the hell on. So getting into Murphy guys, this is one of the things that upset me about this figure. You guys know that 12 series ago, Elite Series 72, we had this exact same head sculpt. They've never made a different head sculpt for Buddy Murphy. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Maybe they only have one head they could have digitally scanned or whatever the case. I don't know the whole makings of it, but this is the exact same head sculpt. Uh, maybe TrueFX technology applied, but I'm pretty sure that's been applied for a while now, and his last one had it, so I, I don't know what's going on with it. It's the same exact head sculpt. No differences at all. Love the torso choice. They used this with the last Buddy Murphy. I think it works perfectly for Murphy. Same arm size. Again, Buddy, Mur Buddy Murphy is, j is jacked. Buddyth Murphy is jacked as shit. He's got his elbow pad that is painted on. That, that doesn't bother me that much. I like the white wrist tape. It's pretty thick, so I like that. You got the same crotch mold that we got last time. It is in black and white with silver in there. Looks pretty good. I think it's the, it's the exact same sculpt last time as the Elite 72. But this is where it is different. You guys know that last time we got Buddy Murphy, he was a single star. He wasn't wrestling with Seth Rollins. They weren't a team or anything. So he did have his nice shorts mold, which I loved. I low-key wish this was another just Buddy Murphy in those colors. Since we don't have a Seth Rollins to pair this with besides the basic, I really wish we could have gotten, you know, just a another Buddy Murphy in the shorts that you know he comes with because we've only ever gotten two and I don't know if we'll ever get it again unless he goes back to that style mold but on the side you got all these designs going on on the side it does say the Disciple Murphy I'll get a little zoom in so you guys can see this the Disciple Murphy and then he has no knee pads he's got his kick pads on here which are Buddy Murphy style this is not like Seth Rollins legs or anything he is not on ball joints I don't think no I don't think he is even though the last 
Buddy Murphy, I'm pretty sure, was on ball joints, so that's pretty interesting stuff to note. And you might could, maybe, you might be able to just, I don't know, you could possibly, if you really wanted to, maybe switch the lower legs out with top talent Seth Rollins and then uh, paint over this and then add a Monday Night Messiah decal right there. Maybe that would create a Monday Night Messiah Seth Rollins if you switch the torso and the head and all that stuff. Maybe you could do that, but that's pretty much it for Murphy. I like the design of these kick pads, though. But yeah, that, that's Murphy for you. And then for your buddy Murphy figure comparisons, guys, here's the Elite 72 up next to the Elite 84. You guys can see that the Elite 72 seems to stand just a tad bit taller. Not the biggest deal ever or anything like that, but yeah, here is the short shorts mold. I really wish I had the Chase variant buddy Murphy. They would look pretty much identical because they look... It's pretty much if you merge these two figures together, you would get the Chase buddy Murphy from Elite Series 72. So it's kind of a re-release just with repainted legs, and it's not as cool of a leg mold as this with his shorts look, which I really, really like. And was this guy on ball joints? Yes, he was. So there you go. There is Buddy Murphy up next to that. And then if you guys wanted to see what he looked like up next to the Monday Night Messiah next to his disciple, here is a Top Talents fix-up Seth Rollins Monday Night Messiah up next to Buddy Murphy. And these scale pretty well. I think Rollins is 6'1", and then Buddy Murphy's 5'11", so I think these work pretty damn good together and everything like that. So if you guys wanted to see what they look like, there you go right there. And if you guys wanted to see what a Rollins would look like with this shirt on, there is that. So if you guys wanted to see what the red, you know, the rubber Monday Night Messiah shirt looked like on an Elite Seth Rollins, there you go. He's got the glove, he's got the black tights, black Rollins Messiah shirt, it all works out. Alright guys, it is that time of the video where we are finally going to rank Elite Series 84 from worst to best in my own personal opinion based on my reviews of this set you know, going through all the things, the newer things articulation, how it feels in the hand likeness, excitement level for the figure posability, how much am I going to use it all of these things come into account when I'm accounting for the figures in this set and you know, I am a little biased so if you know one of my favorite wrestlers is probably going to be higher just because I'm so excited to get that figure but let's go ahead and dive into the ranking guys and also don't forget to mention, just because a figure comes in the very bottom doesn't mean it doesn't have any good qualities about it and just because the figure is number one doesn't mean that it's without fault and it's just the the god's greatest figure ever made and it has zero things wrong with it so let's go ahead and dive into the ranking guys starting out at number six so coming into the bottom of the ranking for me guys is going to be buddy murphy now it's pretty shocking because i i love buddy murphy i think he's absolutely fantastic however this figure is just i uh, you know it's the same head sculpt we've seen it's the disciple attire which is it's just a little bit plain Jane. I just I just wish we could have got some more and newer things out of this guy. If the shirt would have been cloth, if it had knee pads, if it just, I don't know, it just, if it had a newer head sculpt and it was a really good head sculpt or if it was an improved upon head sculpt or something with this figure, possibly would have moved it up the ladder for me. But it just, out of the rest of them, it just, you know, it just, it was just flat. And I love Buddy Murphy. And this is a Buddy Murphy Elite? Coming in at number six, I mean, that tells you that this is a damn good weight. But I love the Buddy Murphy figure. It's just, it's not as good as others. Therefore, it comes in at the Bottom. Coming in at number five, guys, I really don't even know what to do right here. This is actually a really difficult ranking to do because I love I love a lot of things about these figures and some of them barely beat out others but I guess I'm going to go with Sheamus even though the Sheamus is so damn good man, I really want to put it higher. I really 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 want to put this figure higher on the list. This is a perfect Sheamus figure. I love the head sculpt. I love the accessories. I think it's a great formula. It's just, I, you know, I won't get much use out of it. This will be going forward, this is going to be the new Sheamus in the Wyatt Colt. If you guys didn't know, Sheamus is in the Wyatt Colt. So this will be the one I use which works because he's more pissed off and he's got, you know, the black attire on so that works but at the end of the day, I really love this Seamus figure. It's actually sad for me that it's coming in at number 5. Coming in at number 4 guys I am going to go with Angel Garza. Now I think the Angel Garza figure is great. I think it poses really well it feels good in the hand. I feel like the hands are a bit oversized or something but them doing those pants that way where they were removable and everything like that was really clever and great and I couldn't rank it any lower. I really wanted to move it up higher but since Angel Garza isn't a talent that I really, really love, then I, I wasn't going to put him as high. So I'm going to put him at the number four ranking. Pretty upsetting considering how cool his pants are and that little gimmick there. Really good job by Mattel, but at the end of the day, I couldn't do it. Moving up to number three, I'm going to go with Rhea Ripley. I got to go with Rhea Ripley. I just, I, I, if the hair was different, she'd probably be number one, man. She'd probably be number one and if the ab crunch was a little bit better. I love all the things going on with this figure. I like the interchangeable stuff. The pants are really detailed. I love how it feels in the hand. The legs been really well and stuff like that. One of the better women's figures of the year by far. And actually, the more that I sit here and pose her around, man, I think I think I may have to change the ranking. I think we got a little upset going right here. Jeff Hardy come forward. Roman Reigns come
come forward. Here we go. Number three is going to go to Jeff Hardy. I just think the tattoo lacked as much detail as I want. I love the face paint and everything, but it's pretty much a Jeff Elite that we've gotten. It does have the updated tattoo. I love all the fix-ups I'm going to be able to do, but at the end of the day, I think the Rhea Ripley, since it's new and edges it out just a little bit, I'm going to go Rhea Ripley number two and the Big Dog MDT Champion number one. I love this figure from head to toe. Ponytail head skull could be better, but at the end of the day, I love the Roman Reigns. I love the Wreck It Everyone and Leaf shirt. I'm going to go Roman 1, Rhea 2, Jeff 3, Garza 4, Sheamus 5, and Buddeth Murphy at number 6. Honestly, you could probably switch these two. I really think the Sheamus could even be higher. Sheamus could literally be from 2 to 6. He's that damn good. It's just some other things kind of edged him out. I don't think it would be fair to put Garza behind him, Jeff behind him with the tattoos and stuff like that, and plus I love Jeff. It's, it's just a really hard ranking, guys. If this Rhea Ripley had a better head sculpt, like with hair and stuff, I think she'd probably be number one, and if her ab crunch was a little bit better, she'd probably be number one as well. But at the end of the day, this is my complete ranking, guys. If you would like to grab Elite 84, go grab it using promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Had a ton of fun reviewing this set. Definitely go check out all the individual reviews so you guys know exactly what you're getting with these. We go into more detail about the rest of the set behind Sheamus and Buddy Murphy, but I love this set. I think it's great. I think all of them are definitely worth If you grabbed all of these, I wouldn't be shocked. I'd understand why, but I think Buddy's first figure was better. This is the best Sheamus. Angel Garza, if you want to, you know, upgrade and make your main roster more accurate. Jeff Hardy's great. If you missed out on the back tattoo, you want to update a Jeff Hardy, throw a mesh shirt on there. Rhea Ripley, it's her first elite ever. It looks really great. And then this is the best Roman ever made. So there are your reasons that you may want to buy this figure or these figures, I should say. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout out right quick. And the, and the random shout out is going to go to Kayfabe Gimmick Wrestling, who says MDT says one of his favorite pay-per-views is the Money in the Bank. Yet he gets mad at it every year. It's because they ruin it, okay? They ruin it every year. They ruin it. They just love to ruin the money in the bank. It's like they don't give a damn about the money in the bank anymore. We're not going to get these precious edge moments, these Seth Rollins moments, you know, these... Hell, even Dean Ambrose moments as the dogs go ballistic, but... Shout out to Kayfabe Gimmick Wrestling because they do be ruining the, NBA, the, the money in the bank, man. They piss me off with that, but... But as my dogs continue to go crazy, guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. Don't cross the line or you'll end up like these guys. You cross the line, I've been...